the layers are up. <laughs> How many thought it was a fold? I thought it was the front side of one of those things coming it forward. It looks like a fold, doesn't it? When you look at it, that's what you all were sketching, How is the sweeping of the layers. They look like they come down and come back up again. I guarantee you, if you went up there, and you, you kind of see it on this air photo. That's why I pulled this out. You've got this air photo. This over here, here's the, the amphitheater. So we were up here. So if you look at this here, you can see layers going this way. Every 99% of what you see is entirely topographic. Huh. Um, the beds are just dipping this way. <laughs> and the gullies cut into them. See where the gullies cut in there? The gully cuts in there, gully cuts in there. You're getting, what's happening is the units come down, they V up and down the slope, they V up and down the slope, they V up and down the slope. And they make a pseudo fold or what looks like a fold from a Don't feel, I'm getting tired. And out playing field, doing field geology. Oh, oh that's why it's sketch that on the other side. And I walk over there and it's all the same stuff. Except in the same way. Topography. Fooling you. You can't tell it. So would that be the telltale sign over there? The, 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 the four distinct blocks? Are dip slopes there. See how the beds are coming uh -huh. down the gully? The beds are coming down the gully there. And the beds are coming down there. And the exposed down. outcrop up there? Some of the outcrops are out. Now there's other things. Can you go that way a little ways? There's some other things going on that I don't want to mention right now. But right out here, <laughs> uh, right out here, that's essentially entirely topographic. And you know that it's 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 a good, it's just a beautiful illustration of how the perspective that you look at something influences what it looks like. There's a there's a great example of actually in, the, in Death Valley National Park. There's this plaque that talks about. Geologic fold that shows this. This is, shows a sketch of a photo of this thing off in the distance when this thing's rolling over. And it's, it's a great place to walk up to and measure the strike and dip all across it. It's exactly the same across. What they show is this fold. <laughs> so it's, our park service does it too. And it's very easy. To, so what the, the key of that is, and that's why it, I, I say if you look at, we'll do some things next week where we'll look at these th things like aerial photographs can come in very handy that way mm -hmm. especially because the combination with standing here and then you pull out an aerial photograph and you look at that and you say oh okay that's what that really is you start when you look at that you start to see that the units are doing this there's nothing there's nothing swirly to it mm. that's showing that so it's all and they also would see that this is a gully and that's a gully and if you start mapping it they're predictable relationships of which that that geometry is there. So, okay. So we were on before the all morning and all until now we were on the opposite dip, right? So the units were dipping away from us. So the V's go into the gullies. Those are a lot easier to see. Whenever you get on this out. side of slope, which is often called a dip slope, because you're walking down the dip slope, that there are all kinds of strange things that occur because you're essentially the beds are essentially holding up the slope. So you could have one bed cover the whole slope if you have you know very resistant bed could cover the entire slope so a big area on a map might be all exactly one stratigraphic layer or it could be all jumbled around from various things so this evening just for the fun if those of you who live on the west side you look at the look at the franklins from the west side or even before you come over, if you're coming on the east side look back at the franklins and you see all kinds of stuff like this they even see isolated outcrops where the bed or the dip of the beds is less than the slope on the sides of the Franklin, so the rock units make full circles and things like that. So, good enough. Let's go back. Yeah, let's, uh, when we get back, let's see if 122 is open. I think it is.